Every plant needs a certain type of environment to thrive in. And when it comes to cannabis, this environment involves a number of factors that, for the indoor grower, will need to be recreated. So let's build this puzzle together, one piece at a time. We'll be using the one plant kit to demonstrate this, since this all-in-one grow system has all the things you'll need right out the box. We'll first need to enclose the grow space, and there's really no easier way to do this than with a grow tent. A grow tent allows us to easily manipulate the environment inside of the space, as well as containing the inside environment from affecting anywhere outside of the grow space. A grow tent also provides a number of benefits built into it. The mylar walls do triple duty of insulating the grow tent, preventing light leak, and reflecting the interior light to improve efficiency of a grow light. Ports on top and bottom of the grow tent allow for use of multiple types of accessories. It also allows for wires to pass through the tent and for fresh air to be brought into the tent through the intake vents, which have built-in mesh screens to keep bugs out. The heavy-duty steel bar frames can support the weight of all the accessories that need to be hung on the ceiling of the grow tent. And the waterproof catch tray will protect the floors of your grow space from any spills or leaks. On the front of the grow tent also lies the controller plate, which will bring it all together. With the boundaries of the grow space in place, we can move on to controlling the temperature and humidity. Cannabis thrives in the same environment as humans, so that's room temperature and around 50% relative humidity, give or take. So if your grow tent is inside a home, it's easy to maintain an optimal grow environment by just constantly replacing the air in the grow space with the indoor air outside of the grow tent. This requires an inline fan to exhaust the current grow space air out, which in turn pulls in new air from the intake vents at the bottom. And this also provides the added benefit of constantly refreshing the carbon dioxide supply in the grow space, which plants need to breathe in to grow. As for the exhaust inline fan speed, you'll want to set it so that it's strong enough to replace all the air in your grow space at least once per minute. This means that you'll need to calculate the cubic feet of your grow space and then find an inline fan that's rated for that cubic feet per minute, otherwise known as CFM. So for example, for a 2x2x6 two by two by feet grow space, you'll need an inline fan rated for at least 48 CFM. The inline fan that comes with each plant kit is rated for significantly more airflow than what's needed, which allows for you to run it at a lower speed, which keeps the air noise to a minimum. Also, it's important to note that by bringing the air in the grow space out, this means that any odors that are contained by the grow space will come out with it. For some, this isn't an issue since the air might be exhausted outdoors or to an area where the plant smells don't matter. But for others that want to remove all the smells of the grow space, this just requires an installation of an inline carbon filter, which comes bundled with your plant kit. You can place the inline fan carbon filter either in the grow tent before the air is pulled out or to give the plants more space outside of the grow tent before the air leaves the ducting. Remember that this all assumes that the temperature and humidity that the grow tent is pulling the air from is in the correct range. If anything is off, a humidifier, dehumidifier, heater, or just running the air conditioning in your home can be used to fine tune the grow space environment. Of course, to be able to do this, you'll need a temperature and humidity monitor 
to keep track of everything at all times. The included grow tank controller can do just that, so there's no need for an additional accessory. Outside of temperature and humidity, wind is another environmental factor that's often overlooked but is almost just as important due to the benefits it provides to a plant. A slight breeze will help build plant stem strength, deter bugs, and prevent mold and mildew from infecting your plants. So it's important to use a clip fan blowing on your plants to recreate this effect. With the environment tuned in, all that's left is to recreate the sun. Outdoors, canvas plants need as much direct sunlight as possible to develop to its full potential. And because this requirement is much higher than most plants, any regular type of lighting won't cut it. A grow light rated to grow high yield crops will be needed, with full spectrum LEDs being some of the best options on the market today. In general, you'll need about 25 actual watts of LEDs per square feet of grow space. So for example, a 2x2 two two grow space will need a LED grow light that utilizes around 100 watts of power. The grow light that comes with the plant kit is definitely up to the task. Each have been fine-tuned specifically for growing high yield crops like cannabis. And of course, since the grow light can be dimmed, this also means that it can be powered down to grow other, less needy plants, such as microgreens or lettuce. Tying it all together is a smart controller that can control every piece of the grow space, ensuring that everything is running optimally 24-7. And this can be mounted on the controller plate for quick access to the current environmental numbers without having to disturb your plants. Or you can even just open up the app to check numbers remotely. Now as for how large of a grow tent is needed for a single cannabis plant, this all depends on how large of a plant you plan on growing. Generally speaking though, a small cannabis plant will require about 1 to 2 square feet of space. An average size cannabis plant will require 3 to 5 square feet of space. And a large cannabis plant can take anywhere from 6 feet of space to however large you want it to be. For most people though, an average size cannabis plant is a good place to start. And this means that a 2x2 two two feet grow tent can grow about one plant. A 2x4 feet grow tent can grow about two plants. A 3x3 three three grow tent can grow about three plants. A 4x4 four four grow tent can grow about four plants and a 5x5 five five grow tent can grow about 6 plants. Of course, the plant kit takes this into account, hence why they're numbered based on the total amount of average size cannabis plants they can support, taking the guesswork out of knowing what size grow tent you'll need for however many plants you want to grow. These are the core tools needed to get a grow started. And for even more options to help further fine tune your grow space, check out our entire line of accessories at acinfinity.com.